40 million people live and work along the east coast of the United States. Yet this entire population unknowingly lives under threat of a sudden catastrophe. The east coast of America is the, is the worst place this could happen. It's not some remote deserted coastline. It's one of the most densely populated coasts in the world. Scientists have now found evidence that a colossal wave will one day devastate the coast of America. It will be far bigger than any normal tidal waves or tsunami. It is what scientists call a mega tsunami. It's almost inconceivable how much damage this event will cause, and yet the general public knows absolutely nothing about it. These forces have almost unlimited power to cause utter destruction, and there's nothing that we can do to uh, stop them. The heat from an eruption was the final part of the puzzle which explained the forces that will be working in the volcano. When a new column of magma rises and starts erupting, water trapped between the dikes will be heated up. This will make it expand, creating enormous pressures within the heart of the Cumbre Vieja. These scientists believe this will trigger the collapse of the western flank of the volcano into the sea. We found that a relatively small rise in temperature in the core of the volcano due to the injection of magma could, in, could result in very large changes in water pressures. These water pressures are large enough to reduce strength in the flank and result in collapse of the volcano. What this of course means is that the next collapse will ultimately be tied to a future eruption. All the conditions for a giant landslide on the Cumbre Vieja are present. It is an active volcano that is full of water. Scientists know that one of the last volcanic landslides in the Canaries happened here, on a neighboring island to La Palma. When a section of the island collapsed around 120,000 years ago, it launched a mega tsunami which would have swept across the Atlantic towards the Americas. So when is the next catastrophic event going to happen? The geologists had now discovered the Cumbre Vieja could collapse during some future volcanic eruption. The difficulty, however, is in knowing when this will happen. We have no idea when the next eruption will occur on the summit of the Cumbre Vieja. In recorded history, there have been eruptions in 1949, in 1712, in 1646. So it looks as though there is an eruption up there once every two centuries or so, on average. The last eruption was 50 years ago, so it is likely that sometime during the next century, there will be another eruption up there. There could be five more summit eruptions of the Cumbre Vieja before the western flank collapses. There could be 10, there could be 20. On the other hand, the west flank could collapse during the next eruption. We simply don't know. The geological evidence now shows that La Palma may well be the next volcanic island to collapse. And when it does so, it will create a devastating natural disaster. Well, the first thing that you'd feel, actually, would be seismic activity, earthquakes, because the collapse is going to be related to an eruption. As the forces within the volcano built up to, uh, to the point where they will begin to overcome the friction forces holding the flank in place, the flank will begin to move towards the sea. And then at some point, the rock will fail on a major scale. And this huge chunk of rock, maybe 20 kilometers long or, or more, will start to slide into the sea. The waves initially here would be many hundreds of meters high and those waves would all be moving out into the ocean, spreading out 
laterally, but with a lot of the energy heading across the Atlantic towards the coast of the Americas. Looking down on it, it'll, it'll look unbelievable. It'll look as if the island is falling apart, generating these huge waves which are fanning outwards to reach the eastern coast of the United States. The waves will take about eight hours to travel between here and the coast of America. Just enough time to get the message out, to warn people that this event was, was happening. But unless evacuation plans were incredibly efficient, it would not be enough time to get everybody out of the affected areas. The areas at risk include cities like Miami, parts of Boston, the coastal areas and suburbs of New York. We're standing on the beach in what is presently Miami. The very first effect you'd probably see is what we call a drawback. The ocean would suddenly just pull away. You'd see a tide, a low tide like you've never seen before in your life. It would be actually spellbinding. But in the background, you'd be seeing this wall and it would keep, keep coming at you. This will be the biggest natural catastrophe in history. There's a problem with all major natural catastrophes. Because we've never experienced these things, we don't think that they're going to happen to us. We just ignore them. But these sorts of events have occurred throughout geological history. They're not going to stop happening just because we're around. La Palma is going to collapse into the North Atlantic. It's not a question of if, it's just a question of when.